Let's analyze equimolar contra diffusion, and this is one of the, let's say, easiest examples and more useful examples that we're going to encounter in engineering. Now, even though you may say how many times I'm going to encounter equimolar contra diffusion, actually in real life it happens more than you would think. So, equimolar contra diffusion implies that we have the same amount of moles going in different directions. So, we got A going to the right and B going to the right. An example could be you got a tank of A, which is a gas, and you got a tank of B, which is another gas. You have this piping system and you have this valve. Let's say that you want to mix these gases. You're not going to include any type of agitation system or so. You're just going to allow A to go to B and B to go to A. So we have an advantage. The molar flux are the same. Therefore, the diffusion fluxes are the same. Let's check what implies or what is why are we considering this case? So what we want to get is the model. So let's say that you assume an example. Let's say the same example of A going to B and B going to A and you want to get eventually what are the concentrations at given time and so on. So first things first, review the process. Remember that NA equals NB because this is counter uh, diffusion, therefore Na plus Mb equals zero. So you were to watch, let's say that there are actually molecules going, that you were able to see molecules of A and molecules of B, but let's say that A and B are not branded, they are just molecules. What you will see is that as A goes to the right, you will see also B to the left, therefore the total flux, if you were to measure, will be marked as overall zero. If this is true, then as stated before, the fluxes due to diffusion must be equal to this equation. Okay, now we're interested on gases because this is for gases, so let's assume that this can be modeled with ideal gas, which implies low pressures, high temperatures. And as typically we are interested on A, but we are going to see the same for B. Substitute pressure or partial pressure moles of mole of A are here and what I want to do is to take advantage of the moles and volume to get concentration. Remember that concentration is the driving force in mass transfer. Okay, so what I want to do is get the ideal gas law in terms of concentration versus partial pressure. You can see temperature will be fixed and ideal gas is fixed. Now from the previous equation, I got this one right here. What will happen if I were to differentiate this with respect to C? Well, I got this with respect to C and this with respect to C. Now interestingly, we know as stated before, R and T are constant, so I can get that out from the differential. So now I will get the differential of CA with respect to distance equals one over RT and now, as you can see, probably you think you already know what I'm going to do. I'm going to change the driving forces with pressure. Substituting fixed law, because JA equals minus JB. So let's check out what is JA. According to fixed law, equals to the minus diffusivity coefficient times the driving force. The driving force will be expressed on pressure, so substitute let me clean that away. Substitute this little guy, which is this one right here, with this. So this goes inside, and now I have this right here. Now what else I can do? I can't take this away because this is constant. So this is constant. Let's continue. Now what I want to do is to get solve this differential equation. The simplest way to so to do, do to do that is to take this differential to here so I can now integrate both sides. So what I'm going to do is integrate left side with respect to C, so it goes from C1 to C2 and now I gotta in, uh, integrate pressure which goes from pressure partial pressure A in point 1 to partial pressure A in point 2. The flux is constant, or at least not relevant with respect to the C direction, so I got this right here. These guys are constants, 
so I can take them away and I get this now this is very easy to integrate this is C and I need to substitute C2 minus C1 here it goes and this will be P so I need to substitute P2 and P1 now I'm interested on the flux so let's get this value here and you will get this equation which will be our equimolar counterdiffusion equation okay so this right here is our equation a relevant equation for equimolar counterdiffusion you were wondering on B remember that JA equals minus JB therefore we can say that this is equal to JB but of course we will have to change the partial pressures here so that's what we are going to do minus JB we change partial pressures you will see that we have minus and minus so I, I typically don't like to take away this minus so it reminds me this comes from fixed law so what I'm going to do is to affect this negative sign here so I get different pressures right here now you can see this is the only thing that changes is that the partial pressures 2 minus 1 and of course we're talking about A and this is 1 minus B and this is talking about B Okay, just keep that in mind. So this is equimolar counter diffusion. Let's check out an example in order to see how easy it is when, uh, whenever we have the diffusivity, ideal gas constant is always given, temperature is given. This is of interest or this might be of interest. Okay, 